Hello everyone, welcome to our virtual building tour at Siemens Campus Erlangen in Germany. I'm Michael Kamenik and I will be your tour guide for today. At Cree, I'm the lead architect and the team lead of the partner support team. This team is responsible to coordinate and to support our worldwide building collective. At Cree, everything is about sharing, sharing knowledge and experience towards our partners, but also between our partners. Briefly, I would like to introduce the Siemens Campus Erlangen now. The campus is the biggest Siemens location worldwide. The preparation of the project began already in 2013. Since 2017, the building process is in full swing and Module 1 was already finished in 2020. Module 2 is ongoing since 2019 and will be finished pretty soon. It's just a small part of the whole campus development and consists of the central reception building, four office buildings and three car park decks. Module 3 and 8 will be the next steps in the project development. Module 2 was the first part of the project development to be built in the sustainable and innovative Cree building system. This reflects the ecological responsible mindset within Siemens. With a total area of 860,000 square feet or 80,000 square meters, it's the most ambitious Cree building so far, not only in Germany, but also worldwide. More about the campus and its functions we will learn now from Daniel Bechmann. So let's try to find him. Hello Daniel, thank you very much for having you on our building tour today. Would you be so kind to introduce yourself and your role within Siemens for the campus development, please? My name is Daniel Bechmann. I'm civil engineer. I work for Siemens in 16 years. And here on the Siemens campus in Erlangen, I'm responsible for all the construction related topics in our development. So thank you very much, Daniel. Uh, seems we found the most competent uh, person to answer my next question. What is the Siemens campus uh, here in Erlangen all about? Uh, what are the buildings used for and who will be the future tenants? The Siemens campus is actually a consolidation of many Siemens facilities and entities in the city of Erlangen and also from the entire region here, from the metropolitan region, Nuremberg, Fürth and Erlangen. Currently, it's the largest construction project worldwide in Siemens real estate, so it's a really huge project for us here. And we have started in 2016 with a module one, um, which is already finalized and in operation now. And right now we are building module two and we are also doing a future development with more um, office buildings, but also um, residential development. And we have also some external gastronomies here, restaurants, small shops, and all in all, we are creating a very urban, a very lively and modern urban district and um, also without any fences. So this will be a very open area here with access to the publicity also. So you mentioned Module 1 is already finished now and it, as far as I know, it was a conventional construction and also the original design of the Module 2 was meant to be uh, in the same way to be constructed. So how it came that you changed your mind and decided for a uh, Cree building system? Well, actually, we didn't really change our mind, but you're right. Uh, during the tendering phase, uh, the basic design was done in a conventional construction method. Mm -hmm. So that means it's an approach with a reinforced concrete. But then we received a special offer from Zech, our general contractor, which was so interesting to us, uh, mainly because of the modular construction and also because of the sustainability. So we finally awarded that. And now this is being executed in a design and build approach. Where do you see the main benefits uh, using a mass timber based uh, construction method? Well, in Siemens real estate, we focus a lot on sustainability of our buildings and also in the application of renewable resources. So with this Cree system, we achieve a significant reduction in carbon dioxide during the construction phase. With a visible timber structure, which you can see here in this office room, we create a very positive and comfortable environment for our employees. 
and also we receive a very good feedback from our future tenants when they see um, this office building here. What can you tell us about the design process? Is it true that you designed the whole project as a BIM model? Yes, the BIM method was applied by Zech in the detail design phase. We did not only have one BIM model or one model, we had five models, so one for each building mm -hmm. with different substructures, so one for architecture, one for structural design, one for the technical building equipment. And the main challenge was the integration of these sub-models or substructures into an overall three-dimensional model for each building. That was quite a challenge, actually, yes. I can imagine you are not the only one facing those challenges. So we arrived already to my last question for today. Um, did you recognize any differences on site by using a highly prefabricated model of building system? Well, prefabrication means always you have less workforce on site. And this also reduces the safety hazards on the site, which is very important for us as a customer. On the other hand, um, the logistics concept is very challenging, especially here on module two, because we did not have the possibility of any intermediate storage of these structures. So whatever is being delivered from the factories to our site here needs to be put in place right on time by the cranes. Thank you very much, Daniel, for those insights, very interesting insights, and good luck for the finalization of the project. My pleasure. Thanks a lot. And now I would like to explain you how we did it, what the Cree building system is all about. Briefly described, uh, it contains of four main components. The stiffening core, where we are right now, for the lateral forces in the building. The second element is the central girder with its supporting columns. The third element are the huge wall elements, three to four grids long and story high. The fourth element, last but not least, our timber hybrid slab solution. On site, it's all about assembling those parts, a completely revolutionary new way of constructing. Less complexity, less noise, less waste, less dust, and last but not least, less people on site. So let's meet Mattis now, who is part of the construction team on site here, and he will tell us more details how they did it. Hi, Mathis. Hey, Michael. Thank you that you took your time today uh, to be with us. And I would like to ask you first if you would be so kind to introduce yourself and your role at Cree Buildings. Yeah, first of all, welcome here at Siemens Campus Erlangen. Thank you. I'm Mathis Sträter. I'm a timber engineer and work for Cree since two years. Mm -hmm. Here I'm a site manager. And together with our partners Zechbau and ROM, we built the Siemens Campus Erlangen. Cree Germany is in charge for the timber hybrid construction here. So the project is nearly finished now, as I understand, and will be handed over to Siemens pretty soon. So do you remember how many different parts and elements you needed to compose all those five buildings? In total, we had 2,400 slab elements and 1,100 timber wall elements to build the 72,000 square meters of hybrid area here at Siemens Campus Erlangen. Wow, these are impressive numbers, uh, Mattis. Uh, did you face any major logistical challenges with this huge amount of elements? Actually, the logistic was one of the biggest challenges here. During peak time, we had about 40 trucks coming here per day, loaded with around 120 slab elements, and they were assembled in three different buildings. As you can imagine, this needs a lot of good planning for the logistics. Okay, Mattis, so how long was the total assembly time for all five buildings? The first elements were delivered in October 2020, the last ones in July 2021. So it took us around nine months to assemble the building shell of all five buildings. And how many workers you needed to assemble all five buildings? For the assembly, we used teams of six workers. During peak time, we had four teams working here. Impressive what difference it makes uh, to work with prefabricated elements. So if I can sum it up, this means uh, you erected more than 70 
2,000 square meters of Cree building in less than nine months with just approximately 20 people uh, on site? Yes, that's right. That's one of the big advantages using the Cree system. And now I would like to come to a completely different topic. Uh, did you notice any differences uh, between the main reception building and the four other office buildings? Uh, for example, because of the stone facade of the main reception building compared with the metal sheeted office buildings. For the assembly itself, it doesn't make a big difference. That's what I like about the Cree system. The outer appearance can be very different, but the structure doesn't change. We always have the hybrid panels and the glue limb columns. Oh, that's nice to hear that with the same superstructure, we have a lot of variations for facade solutions. Are there any differences in the Cree components uh, compared with other projects you already realized? Yes, for the first time, we integrated the heating and cooling into the prefabricated timber hybrid elements. This means we're using the concrete, not just for the structure itself, we're using it also for the building services. Okay, Mattis, uh, thank you very much uh, so far. Uh, let's come to our last question for today. Uh, would you like to share any lessons learned with us? One thing we learned is that the logistic, as I mentioned before, is a big part of our work here at the site. Thank you, Mattis, uh, for sharing all this with us. Uh, I really cross fingers for you for the last stage of the project. Good luck. Thank you, Michael. It was a pleasure having you here. This is a great place to show you the different facade solutions of the Siemens campus in Erlangen. The main reception building to the left is the one and only building throughout the whole campus cladded with natural stone to highlight uh, its importance for the whole campus. All other buildings are cladded with white metal sheeting like you can see to my right. As you can see in the background, the metal sheeting can be installed quite easily with cherry pickers. On the other side, uh, you see that for the heavy stone elements, scaffolding is used. Target for our future projects is to prefabricate the wall elements already with its final cladding, to establish a scaffold-free assembly process, like we did it in one of our last projects in Luxembourg, and it was amazing to see how the total construction time benefits of this solution, the next evolution of the Cree system. Nearly every building at the campus has its own private courtyard to increase the natural light situation within the office spaces. As you can see, the facade finishing is made by plaster uh, in the courtyards, a very cozy and friendly design solution and the third design solution to be introduced into the project. So ladies and gentlemen, we are at the end of our tour for today. I hope you got some interesting information to inspire you to use the Cree building system in one of your next developments. So, the future of building has begun, let's shape the future together. <music>